what's the what's the pleasure of doing the website versus the book? You said about you can constantly update it. Is that yeah. do you feel like you have more control over it in some ways, or or is there still something about writing a book that you enjoy? I guess there's two completely two different pleasures: the permanent thing, and then the thing that mm -hmm. where you can always get you can always communicate the things that you hear all the time. But yeah. like you said, the the, the next thing that you hear or the really cool development in a story that you've already written yeah being able to share that with people right away yeah and it's hard because it's not an either or but one leads to the next which is what's great the book is unless until you get a letter from a reader or an event like this it's pretty much one-sided you're just talking for 300 pages and usually you don't hear anything back but the website there is a dialogue uh, Do you I, I want to do that. What usually I end up doing is just kind of email exchanges and posting all of that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, a lot of wonderful things have come from it. Uh, the uh, One of my favorite locations to visit, one of my favorite ghost stories is uh, Robinson Woods in Des Plaines. is a Native American burial ground. And uh, just a place where I experienced a lot of paranormal events. And usually, you know, I don't. I'm just a reporter that goes out and views things. But I got a had a researcher, an archaeologist, start using my book and Ursula's book to kind of try to uncover the reality behind the place, the history behind the place. And he's become a really great friend through the website. He was, I think he was one of, if not the first person that was a stranger that bought my original book, which is a self-published and distributed book. Uh, so that's, you know, it's a pretty awesome part of the website. <laughs> Right. Have, you, have either of you ever considered um, doing some fiction, maybe doing a novel based on one of your favorite stories? Or uh, when I was in get more uh, national appeal. Yeah, when I was in college, I was an English major, and I wanted to be a fiction writer, and that lasted for about six months until <laughs> I realized that I cannot write fiction to save my life. Scott seems to think I should be a. a Screenwriter. Well, yeah, we've chatted about it. She's a great writer. <laughs> She's a great. She knows character. Um, I, I've written a, a a screenplay based on a number of different Chicago ghost stories that I would love to, you know, throw together into a single single film. I had the pleasure of uh, having Chicago Hans uh, made into a, a play live. Live wow. theater. Um, it was put on at the uh, Chill Park, one of the local park district uh, parks in Chicago. And uh, it was actually a friend of mine from, not a friend, but someone I knew in high school that we had been in theater together. And he's the uh, drama instructor at the park. And he had liked the book and he contacted me and said that he was working on this play based on it. And it's a uh, it's an assembly of maybe six or seven of the stories, you know, acted out. So that was kind of neat to see. Oh, yeah, um, and yeah, it would it would be great to see it on a on a larger scale or or you know on film or something that would be really neat. Yeah, absolutely. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Taking pictures of everything. And yeah. here's all this white stuff going on. What what's the deal with that? That's it. I mean, you, you know, you take it. Photograph you, you get images or whatever. Sure. What, what, what's that all were they like the orbs, or was it more of a mist, or? Well, it, it, it was like smoke. Smoke. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I mean, that's I. I love seeing pictures like that. Um, uh, what do you think? I mean, a microburst coming through and then pictures that were taken right after. It could be a lot of just energy from the storm. Exactly. Yeah. It could be a lot of things. It could be that. Um, I'll, you know, most of the time when you see those kind of photos, they're in a an intimate setting where there are people around, and it's either their breath or yeah. um, or cigarette smoke. smoke. <laughs> yeah. So a ghost hunter, when they're taking pictures and it's cold outside, they're always the ghost hunting groups always. That's one of their rules. Yeah. When you take a picture, hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like that's very. But yeah. <laughs> but that's very. Uh, that's interesting. 